everyone and welcome to Rustable. It is happening. Cars are still arriving. The Mayfair parking is still uh, filling up nicely. Uh, the Van den Pla area is largely full. It's a beautiful day here in paradise. We, we got so lucky with the weather behind me. But it was awful yesterday, awful the day before. It's going to be awful tomorrow. But it doesn't matter because we are here. Had a very panicked start, but we've got all kinds of vehicles in. You may see up at the back, we've got a double-decker bus. We've got lorry, mechanical marvels, fire engine. It's gonna be splendid, so I think we'd better start having a look around. So this is one of our creator zones, where uh, it's all the smaller channels that we've invited to come and be a part of it. We've got smashing pistons here. We've got Katie wrenching wench. Uh, we've got fuel power Jake over there as well. We seem to have spilled over slightly into the next row. Uh, our friend Philip, the wandering organist, who arranged for us to play a pipe organ last year, is here promoting his channel. Uh, Warren's beautiful fiesta, we spoke to Warren at a Hubnut Social. Um, was it earlier this year or was it last year? Double Zero garage there, uh, mini daily and slipping clutches, uh, beards and bangers. And then uh, Steph's employee. Oh, here is Steph. Hello. Hi. I was just saying, here is your employee. It is. Yeah. ADO restoration. So uh, they got a nice display on and uh, yeah, <laughs> restoration and refurbishment of BMC classic cars. And we've got our host, I just noticed, Danny's here as well. Hello, Hi. Danny. How are you doing? He'll be on the stage interviewing our guests later on. I better keep an eye on the clock because I need to be on stage at some point. Uh, we've got uh, Fake Myrtle is here again. The Matiz, we've got Vartberg, rear engine, Skoda. Oh my days, this is going to be amazing. That one's not yours. <laughs> Uh, we've got Wheel Trim Shady, uh, who deserves points just for name, but also comes up with these marvellous creations. That's good to see. Uh, we've got, oh, look at this, Leyland Daff Van, all rusty and chaotic. Love it. A Police Walsley 680, Nissan Stagia next to a Cube, next to a Deu Espero. This is truly what Rustable is about. It is just the sheer mix of everything. A brown BMW 3 Series. Morris Marina next to an SLK, um, ex-police Omega up there as well. My days. But uh, we've got much to do, we're still trying to get vehicles in, so let's go and have a wonder. We've got a Series 2A Land Rover there, which is nice. And especially good news for us, we've got Kev T. The legend that is Kev T is over here with his truck from the day job. Hello, how are you doing? Yeah, very well, thank you. You're settling in? Bet and I were all set up, got yeah, coffee yeah. on the guy. So and, Ke uh, Kev's one of our guests, we'll be on the live stage later, but he's also got, so are these personal projects? Yes, they are, yeah, they're projects that I've picked up along the way that people have scrapped and I thought... Nah, yeah, can't, can't let that nah, go. Nah, nah, yeah, yeah. Can't, can't, oh, can't I, I could not do your job. No. I'd be trying to save everything. I'd, I'd need a multi-storey car park. Oh, I know, yeah, I've just not got the space. That's the only thing yeah, that yeah. stops me. <laughs> so you're uh, prevalent on YouTube and um, TikTok? Yeah, yeah, I'm on all the, all the social media platforms posting daily what I'm picking up and, yeah, yeah. And, and, it, it's and addictive we, stuff it is yeah yeah weekly videos on YouTube but yeah no it's all good fun excellent good fun. well look forward to seeing you on the live yeah, stage later catch you later yeah, you. so uh, that's Kev uh, look, look over here we got a Pajero Junior our own hasn't made it but this one has uh, Japanese import cars I wonder if they do spares might be worth an ask uh, we've got a dump it alike another cube Capri Oh, Eddie and Bernie are here with our Nissan Exa, that won the first ever Radwood. So that's good. So look at the interior of this car. It is so, so plush. Hello. Hello. Look at the velour. It's basically a Nissan Sunny, but with pop-up headlights and a convertible body, and they made something like 200 of them. So complete nightmare in terms of production. But uh, yeah, very nice to see that here. Keep wondering, keep wondering, so much to see. Uh, Wagon R, and very colourful little 106 there, and and this is it. it it's daily drivers, it's pride and joys, it's lack appeal, it's polished within an inch of its life. Look at that Merc A-Class. I think we've seen that at Festival of the Unexceptional before. It's a uh, Heimer Camper, tea making facilities on board. Uh, Martin Chamberlain's Maxi, one of his many Maxis, next to its rather smaller sibling and its rather larger stable mate, Vectra. Do you like a Vector Estate? Is this the one I think I requested someone bring their Vector Estate? Just because I love the rear styling. I think it's really nice. Marvellous. And then, uh, is that a City Rover I see next to a Fiat Coupe? It is. Great to have a City Rover here. I should have brought my City Rover spares. Uh, Ford Fiesta, Seat 
Aviva Cupra. I'm going to go a bit wider here, don't I? C3 Pluriel. I've uh, got Jason Himpson's Mark 1 Cavalier. I was meant to drive a very long time ago and still haven't managed because he's over Norwich Way. Beautiful little Twingo. Uh, Mark 3 Panda. A little um, C1 complete with L plates. Brilliant. Alpha 159, I think. We've got K Truck content next to a, one of the two Monaros we've got here, at least two Monaros next to a Trabant. This is, this is the variety I crave. A purple brick next to uh, uh, a nice early Skoda Favorite next to a Lotus. Um, XL is that? I think it's the XL. It's like a two plus two. It was originally the Eclat and they developed it. Yes, XL SE. And we've got a pair of Morris Miners. Uh, I think this, is this Amy's Renault Clio? It used to belong to her Nan, I think. Yeah, there we go, Nanny's Clio. 44,000 miles. That is lovely. So Amy's got many cars, quite a few of which are modified. Very nicely, I must say. Bone stock on this one. And uh, very, very lovely. Uh, MGZT, Saab 93, Rover 75. We're gonna see quite a few Rovers here. Hello. Ah, oh, hello from Westwood Ho. Excellent. Where my parents live. A uh, little mini Honda S660. We know how much fun they are. Uh, we got the MG version of the ADO 16. This is Steph I Driver Classics display area. Brown Marina, uh, Freddy's truck next to Steph's hard working Proton. Hardest working Proton in the UK, I reckon. And uh, what have I just missed? Oh, my own cars. We got Bella representing Filthy Bella. The road's absolutely filthy on the way here. But look at Giselle. Giselle is here and she's looking better than ever. The wheels finally painted, the grill finally repaired. But most exciting of all, the interior, the seats have been repaired. The door panels have been painted brown, looking absolutely gorgeous in there. So uh, that is really, really nice. So thanks to Chris for bringing that along. Uh, also in the hub nut display. Oh, actually, Chris, do you mind if I have a look inside while I'm recording? Fine, yeah. Thank you. I'm gonna show off their hard work. Look at this. Giselle has never looked so good. The carpet has been dyed. The center console no longer white and blue all at the same time. There's even a stereo fitted. Gorgeous. So we are very, very happy to see Giselle again. Super, thank you. And then uh, also in the display, another former Hubnut car. Hello. Hello. Got this, uh, the Smarts here as well. So uh, Davey is modifying it in his own way. You can follow his exploits if you follow the QR code to his channel. Uh, you can see what he's getting up to with the Smart. And then next to Desmond, uh, the Canary. Sorry, my shadow is very strong shadows this morning. And uh, Desmond is showing off one of the mugs. We have class of 2024 mugs featuring this Canary and this Smart uh, because we, they're just so cute and they work well together. So that's great to see. We've got the Corsa. The Corsa belongs to uh, Miss Hubnut's parents, but not for much longer. They need to sell it. They're actually having their Panda back, which I tested a few years ago on the channel. So the Corsa is going to be available. It's a 1.2 Merit. Uh, there we go. For sale, inquiries to Mr. Hubnut. And uh, they're not after daft money for it at all. It's not perfect, could do with a bit of the old Oa troll, maybe the poly troll to get the color back. But it is pretty tidy. I forgot what the mileage is. Uh, you can look at the MOT history yourselves. It's uh, had an MOT in March, I think. Oh, uh, sorry, May, I think it was. So that is for sale. And that concludes the Hubnut lineup. Then we're into the Furious Cars lineup. Uh, let's see, um, Parents Furious, hello, Porsche 928, very nice. Uh, the Hippo is here with roof tent, which they did use last night. Um, that's in the uh, Crown Vic of much disappointment when it comes to bodywork. We've got a Rover P4 here, Rover 75 with Ratluck bonnet. Uh, yeah, it's an amazing, we've got a Vauxhall Nova as well. And uh, yeah, it's just wonderful. Uh, the kids are busy, busy selling merch on the merch stand and uh, playing silly what's it. Uh, Carly, Miss Hubnut is busy in Friendship Corner, uh, speaking to people all day, having a busy old time, everyone's saying hello. And of course, possibly uh, the most exciting thing for a lot of people is we have the live stage 
But we'll go and have a look at the live stage uh, from a distance because it's going to be blaring music out. Hello! So, uh, this Skoda has some relevance that will become clear later on in today's show. Uh, Merc CLK, look at this lovely Datsun with the leopard skin print seats. Datsun Cherry, the Lobolingo we saw at the Chevron's rally, Ford KA, uh, Vanden Pla Princess, the poshest of the ADO 16s, MR2, Mark 1 Multipler. We'll just get a clear shot of the fantastic styling. Um, Rover Mini Cooper S, or post Rover rather, say it's a beefer next to a T35. It's just uh, a T25, sorry. Uh, camper. We'll come back to that lineup in a minute because we've got JM is in here. This is JM's Ferrari and he will be appearing on the live stage. And look, the live stage this year is a 4D series. Uh, the stage bus has upgraded us, which is very nice. Uh, ben Tasty Classics is here. Uh, he's got uh, the amazing pickup, uh, the Ford 250, which towed his Vitesse here. Meeting all these fans. Hi, good morning. Hello. Uh, and uh, we've got Kitch up and down. Next to him, he seems to have run off. Has he actually escaped? Kitch, Kitch never, never, never um, manages to escape. So he's got Dumpit and the Saxo. Uh, there was an issue with Hilda, unfortunately. Right, back to the lineup. Ford Fiesta Mark IV. Uh, Morris Minor, that looks a bit modified. It's got some wide wheels on it. Uh, another Mini next to Gary's. Um, little Starlet was here last year as well. There's a different message on the roof every year, I think. Uh, Rover 75. That's got the V8 snout on it. Could it be? Ooh. And then we've got the uh, MG Montego estate. Uh, I don't think it's a motor, I think it's a Rover one, but it's got a T16 turbo engine in it, if I remember rightly. The old T-series. Um, we must cover this line, we've got another Blingo. We've got this gorgeous Mark I Escort estate. Uh, first car of my dad's I remember is one of those, um, but not quite so happy. This is a left-hand drive Fiat Cinquecento. It isn't one of the twin cylinder ones, is it? That would be too much. Uh, no, it doesn't say. Uh, another Mini next to this so, so faded Hyundai Accent next to a Peugeot 205 van. Hiya. Uh, we've got Richard Honeyman's um, Bond bug that he's showing off. I think that's him leaning in the passenger si si side at the moment. Uh, beautiful Merc 190, an MG ZR with slightly crispy arches. Uh, we've got a very large teddy bear on the Rover 800, a Hillman Husky, the van version, well, sorry, the estate version, really, Humber Super Snipe, and a Bug Rat. So this is based on the Skoda Estelle. Uh, very interesting thing. One's got driven around Luton at high speed in one of those. Uh, Joseph Faulkner's Austin 7 down here. There's all the history about it there. Mini, uh, BMW E30, XR2, uh, Vectra C. This is a car show where these cars are entirely welcome, very welcome. Uh, I think this might be Moe's little 107, Vauxhall Calibra, uh, Saab 96, thank you. Sorry, 95, it's an estate. Pay more attention, I'm getting distracted already. We got um, Kirsty's Saab 900, but we've been owned from her family from new in Oman. How impressive is that? So that's good, Volvo 850 gives us headlamp wiper moments as well. Uh, Volkswagen T4 Transporter. We've got a lovely um, Volvo, which is currently on 836,000 miles. Wow, it might do 837 on the way home, depending on where they live. Brilliant. Uh, next to the Bonberg, we've got a Daimler XJ40. That brings back bad memories. Uh, Renault Clio, Rover 200, another 240, more headlamp wipers, C30, uh, 9. 40, I think. The other Monaro. Uh, Daihatsu Applause, which is good to see. I think he also owns... Uh, oh, hello, you do own... You still own the Move? Yeah, there's the key for it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> wow. Let's just have a look at that. Look at that. Don't don't show Miss Hub, no, she'll have that off you. Excellent. So the Daihatsu Applause, which is the car that looks like a saloon, is actually a hatchback. Uh, oh, wow. Look at some of the trinkets in the back. Amazing. Oh, we get even better access to the trinkets. Beautiful. Oh, Miss Hubman will be very jealous of this. Clever cars. They certainly are. Daihatsu ties even. Oh, Miss Hubman is going to have to up her collecting game. Thank you very much. 
And then because this is Rustable, that's next to a Lotus Exige. Why not? And a Toyota Wyndham, uh, a Japanese import. And then we've got, this really pleases me, this is a Pajero Mini. So this is the smallest version of Pajero. You'll see how compared to the Junior, it's got much flatter arches. So this meets K-Car regs. It's got a 660 triple in it, I think. Uh, Ford Puma, there's the front of the Wyndham next to a, uh, well, one of these, one of them minis. Love that color. That incidentally is the same color as the Vauxhall Viva of not my Volvo who lives next to me. Uh, we've got BX, BX collection. They're showing off the front and rear. Very, very stylish. Uh, Ford Mondeos variously. The Mondeos had a bit of a gathering and sort of all grouped together on their way in. Uh, I think they've picked up um, uh, the odd focus along the way. Uh, the Volvo S80 that people hated for being covered in stickers now has more stickers. Ideal response. The uh, Povo Alpha 155 there. Oh, this is going to be splendid. Hello? That, that's a fascinating colour on that uh, Peugeot 108, yeah. Uh, very grey Mini, Renault Kajar, Subaru Outback, Zara Picasso, because all wheels are welcome. So splendid. Let's go and see what they've got outside a JDHT today. Uh, an iPace racing car and an XJ Pace car, by the look of it. Fantastic. We've got an entirely appropriate ice cream van. It's a Smiley Transit. Excellent. Right, let's go down this lineup. Let's try and be quick. We've got uh, MGF next to a Peugeot 107. Uh, we've got NSU R080 with a Vankel rotary engine. BMW E30 Cabriolet, another BX. Uh, MR2. Honda Accord Aero Deck, the ones that were actually made in America. Uh, we've got Tolba Alpine, Rover R8 GTI by the look of it. Volkswagen up next to a Jag XJ, P6. We've got uh, Rover 100, Matty the Metro. Uh, Alfa Romeo has always shown off their V6s. And this is Mavis. This is Mighty Mavis. So this will be the uh, Women Drivers Social Club. We're going to have a look at their cars in a minute. But this is entirely enormous Mavis. The, uh, camper based on a discovery. We like Mavis rather a lot. Uh, C15 Roma home if you want a smaller camper next to this beautiful uh, Citroen SM. Glorious. And here's an interesting car. It's Lancia badged, but this is actually a Chrysler Ypsilon and the owner has gone to great lengths to turn it into a Lancia because Lancia withdrew from the UK market. So they were sold here as Chryslers. Chrysler being part of what is now Stellantis. So, uh, yeah, all the detail, all the badging. I believe even on the interior he's managed to get, yeah, even the steering wheel says, uh, oh, I can't get a review. Come on, we can do this. It's so blooming shiny today. There you go. You can just see it, Lancia on the steering wheel. Oh, look at this beautiful little Hillman Imp California. Or is it a mighty stiletto even? It is the Hillman Imp California Coupe. Beautiful. Sorry, take the pressure off. I'll stop recording. Uh, we've got a Merc 124, the uh, convertible. Very nice. Say it to Beefer again. Pair of Twingos, early and late. Showing the facelift. So one's got two-piece lamps at the front. The other's got one piece. Uh, we've got Austin Montego again. Uh, fittingly, we're booking ending both rows. BMW 5 Series. Uh, Polestar. A very interesting looking car. And uh, we've got a little Mini Cooper here. Uh, it's Peggy, the Morris Minor, belongs to Becca, Passenger Seat Podcast. She'll be on the stage early on as well. And uh, this is Gemma and Harvey with the uh, Toyota 1000. They've driven down from um, Dumfries Way, I believe. So uh, Gemma and Harvey have restored many a Toyota themselves. Isn't it an interesting little car? Look at that. There's nice patina on that side. Oh, is the patina best on that side? Yeah. I'm just taking in the rear lights. I love the rear lights. Oh yes, look at that. Wow, that is pure patination. Lovely, thank you very much. See you later. Uh, next to a Land Rover, is that a Series 3? High capacity, that's quite a rarity. Yeah, it's on a Y place. It's about 1983, right at the end of Series 3 production. High capacity pickup. Very interesting. Another Morris Minor, another Merc A-Class. Beautiful. Citroen Traction Advance. Uh, I think it belongs to Sarah here. Uh, I think she had a Sarah last time. Uh, we've got a Fiesta, BMW 30, another Merc 124, uh, another Merc 
a Volvo 940 C5 X7 and a Clio. And an Alpine just pulling in. Why ever not? Uh, along this line, look at this gorgeous Mark II Cavalier. That is patination next to a much older sibling, uh, the Vauxhall Crester. And if you come to the British Motor Museum here, uh, up on the mezzanine, I think they hold a number of cars from Vauxhall's own heritage collection. Hello. Uh, this is uh, Rich's beautiful uh, Triumph Herald Coupe. Very rare car. They didn't make the Coupe for very long. Nice MX-5 just coming in. Uh, one of the two Hugo Sarnas here today. Volvo Ambulance. Why ever not? And then we've got this beautiful little Fiesta on its RS alloys, left-hand drive, and a little Mini that's for sale. Mini van, very rare. Right, carry on down this lineup. Uh, we've got the 5 Series BMW next to a Mazda Bongo, uh, next to a uh, many-coloured Rover 75 estate. Uh, it's, uh, it's gold, it's green, it's blue, it's everything. The super low beetle with opening window Wow, which technically means it doesn't need windscreen washers. That's been um, tweaked up to the max. Uh, we've got uh, Deo Matiz next to a DAF 55. Uh, we've got the uh, Renault Twingo, another modified Volvo, not Monica. In fact, that, that one's really nice. It's got like smoked clear rear lights. Oh, I'm liking those very much. And little infill panel as well. Yeah, oh, sorry Monica, it's all over. Uh, another Twingo, we've got the other Yugo Sana here. We haven't quite managed to get them together yet, maybe it'll happen. Uh, Volkswagen Scirocco, uh, Brown Morris Ital Estate, next to a Rover 25. Lexus CT 200, next to a beautiful Renault Laguna. Uh, Toyota Caldina, oh, is it, is it broken down? Just sitting there, that's impressive. Um, oh, sorry, Sprinter Carib. Caldina's the bigger car, I always get this wrong. Uh, we got these as a Corolla with the um, very unusual rear styling. That's next to uh, Renault Megane Scenic. There's an E-Type over there. There's Carl's hideously unreliable transit van. Um, I follow him on Facebook and uh, yeah, he's had many issues with that. Uh, we got a Toyota, oh, what is it? Yaris Cross, is it, I think? Uh, lovely uh, Tolbert Express camper, maybe ironically named. Vauxhall Tigra, early uh, Berlingo. Another Tigra, why not? And then we've got UK Barn Finds. We're going to have a word with them in a minute. Vauxhall Cresta, this is a later facelift one. Earlier ones had split three-piece windscreen and different rear lights. Uh, so that's nice. Traders are doing well for food. But yeah, UK Barn Finds have bought a Falcon here, which is of much interest to Tev, who's there. He's our stage manager and indeed the stage provider. And uh, he's taking interest in this Falcon. The Dan rear lights may give it away. This is actually a 2CV based kit car. Very rare. And uh, UK barn finds seem to have it. So what are you going to do with it now you've got it? That's a good question. What would you like us to do with it? Oh, you've got to get it up and running and driving about, surely. That's probably as far as we get, because that's yeah. as far as we always get. Yeah, yeah. And then we kind of move on to the next one. Oh, we're well. Like, we're like little butterflies with yeah, yeah. Finds, aren't we? Save them, get them out there, get them gone. Yeah, it's yeah, much, much more sensible than my approach of spend loads of money on them and yeah, yeah wonder why you, you've done it. But there's their channel. You can scan that and head to UK Barn Finds. So we'll see you on the stage later as well. Yes, we will. Thank you very much. What a brilliant show. Oh, thank you. Congratulations to all of you. Done amazing. Thank you. We even got the weather gods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. I think we're almost done with. No, we're not. We've got, got to do that, Ro. There's still more. Off we go. Uh, we've got the C5 here, the Jurassic Park C5. Uh, it's raising money for its own charity. Uh, we saw that at um, the Chevron's rally as well. That's next to a Morris Minor, next to a Traction Avant, uh, which I thought was a slow built, but actually the uh, Chevron's are boldly presented outside. Maybe not. Uh, that is next to a standard 10, next to a Lotus Sunbeam, or Talbot Lotus Sunbeam. Uh, we've got a Rover 100 uh, over here. Uh, we've got a C30, uh, again, Morris Minor, uh, Alpha GTV. I'm getting so tired now. Uh, this is my friend Em's uh, Citroen Diane Joyce that she's had for a very long time now. I think technically her first car. Um, Alpha 164 next to a Mustang, next to an SLK, we've got a Mark 1 Golf GTI next to an Alpha GT. Uh, is that um, Rich's? Um, yes, it is. On the social medias, he is at Joe Hallenbeck. I don't know why, but he's actually called Rich. Uh, next to VEP, so Indecisive Auto is here. 
with uh, his BX Mark 1 that used to belong to Kitch Up and Down. Beautiful Corrado, I'm loving the rear lights on that and the colour. That is very beautiful. And it's got a hubnut sticker, fair play. Uh, Mark IV Escort, uh, Volvo C70, is it the Cabriolet version? The Saab 95. Uh, this Astra won uh, Festival of the Unexceptional a few years ago. Uh, the lovely story to that. Um, it belongs to a chap called Sam, and he's known this car for a very long time and managed to buy it from the um, elderly previous owner and has just made it absolutely beautiful. It's always a joy to see. Uh, Alpha 33 16 valve Inesione, boxer, no less. Uh, BMW, I'm lost. Five, three, six, nine, I don't know. Uh, this is um, Chris's, I think, Renault Kangoo 4x4, so it's a Trekker, I think. Uh, we got a uh, little Mini, we got uh, David 720cc Diane, but we last saw a very soggy, soggy Chumley, much nicer today. Another Alpha GT, Mazda 2, g Wagon, uh, XJ Sport next to uh, uh, an S60. We've got a Hyundai Lantra I almost missed, uh, Alpha Spider, Toyota GT86. And um, we've got some uh, Audi goodness over here, a coupe next to a 100, and uh, a Focus. Good to see an early Focus here in that green, so many of them were. Renault Megane, uh, Volvo, Volvo, it's a Volvo. Come on, brain, it's after the 850, uh, isn't it? It's when they change the uh, numbering on them, I think. S60, perhaps. Uh, Audi A8 that belongs to um, Phil Pond, who was meant to be here in his Alpine. I think we'll see an Alpine yet, uh, so we're okay. Rover 800, uh, Porsche Boxster, Lancia Fima, but it's the 8.32. It is the uh, Ferrari engine version. It's got a trans of a Ferrari V8 in it. Uh, the spoiler pops out of the, the back. That's a lovely color. So that's uh, Ben Jackson on the old socials, I think. Beautiful. Uh, Volvo V70, Morris Minor. Uh, we've got a Riley 1.5 next to a Passat, next to a Saab 900, uh, X-Type, Audi 80, uh, Range Rover, that's quite an early four-door one, that's nice. E36 BMW, Lord Bungle has blessed us with his presence, and uh, that is his um, deliciously dishevelled transit camper van. Uh, we've got the Audi 80, then a Peugeot Hogger. So this has come from South America. So hello to all my South American friends. Uh, I know we have got a bit of a following uh, over in South America, the various countries over there. Here is a, a hogger from Sao Paulo, and uh, it has been imported to this country. So you can see there's kind of elements of 206 in it, but it's developed into um, something very, very different. So that's lovely. BMW M5 giving us a very bendy headlamp wiper moment. Uh, Porsche Boxster, another Corsa. Over here, randomly we seem to have the police, Crown Vicks, have um, come over to keep Lorry's Mechanical Marvels company. And we got a Leyland Olympian bus. We were meant to be having an MCW Metro bus as well. I don't know what happened to that. I hope you're all right, Lee. I hope your bus hasn't just done bus things. But uh, yeah, here's Jupiter, Lorry's Mechanical Marvels uh, fire engine, which I had a little ride in earlier. That was good fun. So he's come all the way from uh, sort of like um, Ipswich Way, I think, or Mid Suffolk Light Early. So uh, yeah, Laurie's having a busy time. He'll be on our stage later as well. So uh, that'll be all good. And uh, yeah, we're, we're kind of getting done, I think. Look, we've got another Scirocco here, another SD1, uh, a Bath, uh, 595, is it, on those. And uh, that's a museum truck. That's nothing to do with us at all. We're just enjoying the fact it's here. Uh, as we are enjoying uh, this um, Volkswagen Caravel as well. Uh, we tested a, a Caravel. It was actually a Euro van sold in um, America. So there we go. That is uh, Van den Pla. We've still got Mayfair to come. So you may wish to grab a cup of tea now. So that's John Coupland and his dad. Uh, we've got Bob the Escort has come from uh, Swansea. Uh, we like Bob, and uh, this Mazda uh, 626, I wish I'd seen this coming in, it was demonstrating its four-wheel steering uh, as it came into the show. So we're not in fact done with um, this area at all, but I think we are now. Figaro, Smart, Fiesta, I think we've seen quite a lot of this lineup, so we've just got all that to go, folks. I may need a cup of tea. No, I'm seeing more cars. Sorry, we've we, we got um, Gentile's um, 
BMW 520. And it's got an interesting and very lengthy story, which thankfully he has reproduced on the side. But uh, yeah, this is a, a very lengthy uh, discussion. I think this is a South African car. But Gentile himself is Portuguese, and uh, he somehow ended up owning it. But now he's moved to the UK, and uh, this beautiful car now resides here. So it's a very well-travelled car. Do check out his garage for more about it. Uh, Mazda MX-5 as well. Craig Cheatham is here in this beautiful Peugeot 406. He deserves a medal for services to old Chad. He loves old rabble. And then we've got this lovely, slightly multicoloured Nissan Micra. Right, that definitely completes it now. Definitely done. Tea time. I'm done in, folks. It's not even lunchtime yet. But uh, let's get into Mayfair. We didn't get into Mayfair at all last time. This time we are actually going to do it. So let's go and have a mooch at Mayfair. Uh, so we've got a Ford um, street car, uh, the car advertised by Kylie Minogue, uh, next to a Mazda MX-5 NC, are they NC? I think so. Uh, my friend Chris's uh, Austin, sorry, Morris, oh dear. Um, I think it's a 1300 uh, next to a Mini. So the Mini came first, uh, the uh, ADO 16s came as the next generation, the Land Crab was the third of the years ago in this design. A uh, little Mini Cooper uh, by the look of it. And then we got a Holden, hurrah! And uh, in, next to that we got a Vauxhall Cavalier next to a Vectra. So um, this was sold as a Vectra in European markets as an Opel. It's a Vauxhall Cavalier here, last of the Cavaliers. Uh, we got a Kia, uh, Optima Sport Wagon. I don't know that, I just read it on the sign. Uh, MGTF, another Focus, but this one's an estate. Lovely to see, you can hear Danny and uh, the other guests having a good time on the stage behind me, another TF. Mark IV Astra, uh, and then I think we're going to have the flip mode because uh, at some point they've changed how they were parking. So Peugeot 205 with deliciously shambolic paint, uh, the CTI, um, the uh, convertible version or Cabriolet version of the GTI. Uh, we've got an MG ZS, do like a ZS, next to an HS. And uh, this is the one, is that the one? No, it isn't the one. Sorry, I thought it was a different car. Uh, we'll move on. It's not the one I drove last night. I did drive one last night belonging to Adam, or temporarily belonging to Adam, of Living with a Classic. Uh, MGC, with its bonnet bulge with a bonnet bulge on it. Another Kia. Is that Seed? I think so. We've got Harry's Bedford CF. Matt Furious Driving has done a video on that. And uh, another uh, MGF. Uh, ZT. A rather mischievous looking B. What's it got under the bonnet? Let's find out. Let's go and have a look. Oh, unexpected, the Mazda MX-5 engine. Nice, look at those manifolds. Wow, that's definitely different. Holy smokes, we'll come back to that. Uh, Volkswagen beach buggy with hub nut sticker. Uh, we've got uh, this um, Smart 4.4. Uh, apparently a fan of Smith & Sniff. Uh, they do a very good podcast and uh, that's um, Richard Porter and uh, Johnny, uh, uh, Johnny Smith, that'll be the one. Uh, we've got the uh, XR2 there, you can tell because it's blue, uh, SLK280, little panda, that's delicious. A very quiet Jaguar I-Pace sneaking through the show. Uh, we've got a Vauxhall Astra SR, another C30, uh, a, a V40. Headlamp wipers, liking the um, yellow tubing for the washers. Uh, another um, S60, is it? I get confused. I'm still confused. And a C30 with some very interesting lights. Nice. Party mode engage. So generally, we've got all the Volvos in this section, it seems. Lovely 740 there. Very nice. Hello. Hello. Lovely. Right. Switching the other way. Saab 96. Volvo Amazon, so there's your Swedish pairing, rivals from new. We've got a Sandglow Maxi, uh, Land Rover Lightweight, which is obviously getting the attention of uh, a certain Stephanie here. Hi. Hi. She's going to love this. Yeah. Uh, this lovely um, LDV Convoy with Volvo badge for some reason. Uh, a very rusty Panda 4x4. Must be one of the original ones. Next to a later Panda, lovely colour, like that. Uh, MR2 205, let's try and get the pace up a bit. Morris Minor, I love its indicator ears on the roof. I don't think that would have been standard fitment back in the day, but a very sensible upgrade from Trafficators. Uh, nice scruffy Clio, ratty. Uh, a deliciously lowly spec Capri. 
405 Estate, that's in lovely condition. Uh, next to this enormous Lincoln Continental. Let's gonna have a peek at the uh, pews in this one. Look at that. Oh my days. And the car just keeps going on and on and on. Eventually you get to the back of it. Dwarfing this little Ford Prefect here. Very nice. There's one of the, uh, oh, it's got a little uh, cross flow in it, I think, that one. Uh, Deu Lanos. Where else are you going to see one of those at a show? Another Volvo V70 Porsche Boxers. It seemed to be a theme this time. Uh, Volkswagen Bora or Jetta in some markets. Porsche 911 964. Jaguar X Type. Citroën C2. Saab 900 of the Vauxhall era or General Motors era, anyway. And uh, we got a uh, Citroën 2CV here with copies of the Citroenian as the newsletter of the Citroen Car Club. Uh, Renault 7, R Rover 75, and this is a micro convertible Saab 900 headlamp wipers, Merc 190 headlamp wipers. Uh, we've got uh, Steve's Machines here, a Porsche 928, good project car, Volkswagen Caddy, uh, Audi S4 V6 Turbo, uh, another little, uh, oh it's a wire edge mini, so that's a very early um, new Mini, can't really call them new Minis, they're over 20 years old now. Uh, Jugs, apparently, the uh, Land Rover Discovery. Uh, Honda Civic, Peugeot, it's Peugeot. Uh, 308, possibly, I, I get a bit lost. SLK, gorgeous little standard 10. Oh, that is minty. Look at that, twin carbs though. It's a mischievous little standard. Well, have we still got all this to go, folks? So uh, you might want to stop for another brew, but I didn't get into this part of the show last year, so I'm going to make a concerted effort to uh, get round and see what's going on. We're going to go right up the top. So while we make our way to like the back corner of the show, uh, I just want to say thank you to everyone who turns up and makes this show as special as it is. It, it is the, the people who make it. Um, both in the friendliness, the atmosphere of the show, uh, and in the sheer variety of cars. It is everything we could have hoped for, but it's everything we could have hoped for because of you lot. So thank you very much. And uh, even if you didn't come to the show and you're just watching, thank you for taking an interest in our little show. It feels like we're in the back end of the show here. This is like the naughty corner. What have you guys done to be up here? Nissan Micra K11, Alfa Giulia, um, I think, Veloce, uh, Volkswagen Up, and then we got two BXs. We've apparently fallen out and don't want to park too close to each other. Both silver BXs, we know uh, they're both TR spec by the look of it. They've got the little extra opera windows in the back. And these things fade like crazy. Oh, I'll say that, the other one looks like they might be fake. Uh, so that's a TRS, and uh, this one, is a DTR, so it's the diesel version. So maybe the windows have just been painted over. We've got a little panda coming in. Yeah, you're good, you're good. If you're not, I'm filming it. <laughs> yeah, oh, lovely. Gorgeous little panda selector. So it's got the um, CVT transmission. Uh, we've got a BMW Z3 Honda Accord Aero Deck. How beautiful is that? Uh, over in this corner, uh, it's like cars from my childhood. I used to have a neighbour who had one of these enormous Zodiacs Mark IV, uh, lovely Maxi next to it. Uh, Silver Golf, they've got their own parking area. Good to see. Uh, whereas the Black Golfs have to park over here, apparently. We've got, oh look, it's Jag Alpha's um, Peugeot 504 that we uh, drove recently. Last year it met up with an identical coloured estate. Beautiful car, so do go and check the test drive of that. It is by far the most successful Hubnut video of the year. Got a pair of Xantias next. I think the blue one was at uh, the Chevron's rally. And uh, this one, it, oh no, danger, danger. Don't show Miss Hubnut. This gorgeous little caravan appears to be for sale. Short vehicle. Look at that. Oh, that is cute and uh, probably preferable to a bob, <gasps> dare I say it, after last night's freezing cold adventures. A pair of Dolomites, this one's an 1850HL, which is like one down from uh, uh, a uh, uh, Sprint. And then we got an XM next to a CX, so one car replaced the other. That's great to see. 
We've got a little Renault gathering over here in the corner. Uh, so we've got the Clio's and the Twingo in the middle and this gorgeous little model Twingo. That is awesome. So I like this. this. This area feels like people have really made some effort to park up together, which is very, very nice. Let's go and see what's in this next row. Hello, how are you doing? Are you good? Very well, thank you. Um, Mark 1 Golf Cabrio, a Citroen AX, a Hyundai i30, maybe? A very high Citroen C5. Um, this is just basically trying to um, intimidate the Saab 95 next to it. I never used to like these ones with all this chrome work. I found it a bit fussy, a bit Dame Edna Everidge in car form. But uh, this, the 95s generally are a very nice car. Omega car, A2, and uh, here we've got minis, of various types, Honda Jazz, MG ZS. Oh look, it's a Subaru Forester. Um, much like our own, but non-turbo, hence uh, the no bonnet scoop. Uh, but also equally early, that is also about a 99. Um, registration, I think, slightly later than ours. Uh, we've got the Renault Espace Mark IV, uh, a Seat Altair, I think, with the wipers that go up the windscreen pillars. That didn't last long as a theme, did it? Aluminium bodied XJ, this sounded immense coming in. Right, so a Volvo uh, 340 headlamp wiper moment, a slightly scruffy Austin A35, I think I chatted to the owners earlier, hello. Uh, over this side, Rover 600 next to Rover 800. 600, one of the most handsome Rover saloons, in my humble opinion. Rover 100 next to an SD1. Next to a Mark IV Escort. Uh, we've got a Smart Roadster. Vauxhall Corsa B, another one. Daihatsu Copen, another one for Miss Hubnut. And this is the stunning uh, Allegro I was just told about. Wow, that is clean. Look at it. That's absolutely immense. Look at the vinyl. Oh, marvel at the misery. Yeah, that is a, a stunning car. Uh, over here we have this Citroen Visa GTI, I think it was sold at this show in March, uh, next to my friend Tim's Citroen BX GT in beige. That is a lovely car. The Daihatsu GTTI. Hello, sir. But I still haven't managed to drive. I am uh, hopeless. It's been waiting, the poor car has been waiting, but look at all the lettering down the side. But I need to get myself and Miss Hubner over to drive this because I love this generation of Sherrard and the GTTI is the ultimate. Well, look at that for a lineup uh, and some amazing trousers as well. Good trousers. Uh, we've got Alfa Romeo Spider next to um, this um, remarkable SZ. That's great to see. Fiat 500 electric like the one we uh, drove a couple of years ago. We enjoyed that car um, very much. Not so much the ride, but everything else. MGA, looking very sporty. Jaguar XJ6, uh, Porsche Cayman, a little Micra K11 next to a Seat uh, Help. I'm so hopeless on modern cars. It is a Seat of that, I'm sure. Uh, and then uh, swinging round, we've got the uh, Toyota Starlet next to a Fiat Doblo. And is that brown or is it burgundy? It's hard to tell. Delicious either way. Uh, Peugeot 406. I'm glad we have a show that's got two Peugeot 406s in it. This is, this is really nice. It feels more chill, more relaxed in Mayfair. And uh, oh, we've even got some yellow headlamps. I don't think that's intentional, but I like the look. Uh, Volvo V40. Uh, built at Ned Car Plant, Mini Clubman, uh, with a K-Series in it. Ooh. Uh, and here's some excitement. We've got a Vauxhall, uh, sorry, a Vauxhall Belmont CD. Uh, well, they did later badge them as um, Astra, I think, and dropped the Belmont name. But look at this, we've got a Pontiac Le Mans next to it. Or were they Le Mans over there? Sold in the American and Canadian market, built by Dayu. So technically, that's a Dayu. And uh, great to see one here. Let's just pop round the back and we can take in the um, subtle differences uh, so you get different rear lights. So that's amazing. I knew this was coming and I'm very, very happy. The Pontiac fans, maybe not quite so much, but I'm very happy to see that. Next to a Favorite with an appropriate place, a Ford Transit van next to uh, the Alfa Romeo Cloverleaf we drove a few years ago. Uh, the Citroen ZX. Look at the similari similarity in lighting there. But uh, one is Pininfarina and one is more Bertone. Interesting. 2CV uh, Dolly with flowers. Uh, black 2CV. Next to uh, this delicious yellow 2CV. 
Free magazines, folks, free magazines. Look at that. <laughs> Tempting people into 2CV ownership. Uh, Mark IV Astra, very nice. Uh, this is a Honda, is that a Step Wigan? Got an interesting collection of um, toys and a nice hoodie. Oh no, it's a, yeah, Step Wigan Sparda. And I say Step Wigan because that's what Honda called it. Very nice, bit of JDM Exotica for us. Lovely, we've got a Triumph Vitesse and a six cylinder engine. Uh, another Mini, look at that for comparisons. Oh, this is a Mini Special, I love the Mini Specials. I think they loved it. They came with fat little wheels and fat arches and uh, nice sort of check cloth seats and uh, the side graphics. I think they're a lovely looking little car, the Mini Specials. Mercedes R Series, maybe. Uh, modern BMW, we are straying out of my territory folks. Citroen C4 5 door, uh, Skoda Favorite, another one. And then we've got Merck SLK next to a Lancia Stratos replica. Uh, Jaguar XJS, I think a V12 one. A slightly shady BX next to a rather nice red BX. And uh, a Mercedes-Benz of some sort. We've got the Simpsons Classics stand over here, uh, minis. A plenty, lovely, an Astra Celebrity, I think, uh, special edition, Ford Sierra, very nice, the old aero nose, the second City Rover of the show, next to a Hyundai Pony, uh, or XL in some markets, uh, a BMW that is so powerful, the power is apparently leaking out of the bonnet, uh, TVR, very nice, Ford Mustang, uh, Citroen DS next to a Diane, lovely little Polo with Transformer seat covers like that. S-Type Jaguar, Rover 25. Look at that for a 70s colour on this MG midget, lovely. And uh, that's quite the colour as well, to be fair, on the Mini Cooper SD. Uh, another Volvo, there are many bricks here. Uh, Alex and Sean, I think, are in this Saab 9000 that was at the Trombley show getting soaked with us. Saab 93, um, a Cupra. Cupra is DS to Citroen effectively, uh, but Cupra is to Seat. So it's a posh new brand based on Seat. Toyota Corolla with a nut sticker, lovely. A very, very low Beetle uh, next to a fairly low Lexus. That looks to have come from Ireland. Uh, Renault 5, various. We've got the Super Sank on the left in red and then the original a Gordini in gold. Lovely. Next to a Chevrolet Corvette, because why not? Why ever not? More Mark II Astros that you can shake a stick at. So there's another one. Oh my God, there's still so much to see. Oi. Uh, so there we go. We've got uh, Mark II Astra, an Abarth, uh, I think, um, a Triking. There we go. Uh, Scirocco. Uh, there's a Volvo T5R, or oh, it says BSR, B8, I don't understand. Uh, Volvo 760, I think, with a chrome grille, could be wrong. Mini Cooper, uh, Honda Integra, gorgeous little mini pairing. Oh, cute. Oh, and I love this. This Clubman Estate. That is my cup of tea. My One Golf, also very pretty. Volvo 240, giving us headlamp wiper moment. Oh my gosh. We have a DeSoto. So DeSoto is like Cupra to say it, but for Plymouth, I think. It's got DeSoto fluid drive. That is gorgeous. Next to a Rover P4, Rover 75, Triumph Acclaim, uh, Toyota RAV4, I think. Peugeot uh, 407 Coupe. Uh, LDV Maxus next to a delicious freight rover. Uh, in fact, I be believe that belongs to Matthew, who owns the Montego estate we drove recently. Interestingly, it seems to have LDV Convoy windscreen wipers. Uh, Rover R8, it's got the 420 engine by the look of it, or 220, because it's got the bonnet bulge. So let's go and have a peek at the back, see if we can confirm our suspicions. 220 GSI. It was one insurance group cheaper than if they badged it GTI. Lovely, Mercedes-Benz CLK, the car that inspired the Ford AU. We've got this um, Toyota Camper. Saw so many of these in New Zealand, but uh, lovely to see it 
here, uh, Berlingo, Berlam, the Berlingo, we saw that at the Chevron's rally, another Accord Aero deck, then we got a Mini Saab 900, A40 Farina next to a gorgeous Mark III Cortina estate, how has that survived? Porsche 924, uh, Rover 25, another lovely X-Type, I'm trying to film every car. I'd love to take some more time to look at some of the Mark IV Mondeo, uh, Aston Martin V8, I think. Uh, Saab 93 or 93, Subaru Impreza. But there's so many of them. We're kind of just skimming. Honda Prelude next to that Celica drop top. Uh, Vanden Pla Princess. Austin 3 litre, but, um, or Westminster rather, but uh, Porsche. And we've got the uh, Triumph 2000 next to a CX, look at that. That is patination, extreme patination. Beautiful. That's next to one of the uh, Citroen LNAs that we saw at the Chevron's rally. Uh, Porsche 911, Citro uh, Toyota Carina E, Fiat Temporal Wagon. Did you know the Fiat Temporal Wagon has this pushed panel? It's like a huge knacker duct in the back. And the idea is that it directs air through that gap and down the rear window to keep it clean. And so confident was Fiat of this technology that they fitted a rear wiper anyway. So I think that's Gavin of the Fiat Motor Club. Uh, we've got a Fiat Punto next to it, that's lovely. Very, very blue Mini. Uh, Lotus Esprit next to a TVR. Clearly the wedge era in two cars there. Another ID A2, uh, Merc CLK I think and then a 190 with headlamp wipers. Let's keep on going round. Uh, we've got a uh, Saab 96 V4 MG4, uh, Corsa C. Uh, another Mark III Cortina, Peugeot 306 Cabriolet, a Sangyong Corando. Oh yes. Uh, next to a Volvo C70, gorgeous Mark I Fiat Uno, and a very, very pretty Mark III Astra Estate. There's a long list of stuff on that. Tilbert Solara, next to a Citroen GS. Uh, another CLK, I think, Ford Sierra. Uh, we've got Honda Civic Wagon. Uh, Mark II Mondeo, Mark VI Escort, with Hubnut sticker. Oh, for sale, 800 pounds. No, it's got a terrible triangle of doom. Uh, BMW E36 with aftermarket headlamps, uh, Polo GTI, uh, Skoda Octavia, another 2CV. Uh, I forget what that blue is called. I did own one of those at one point. They didn't do that for very long. Another BX16 valve, another streetcar, um, Mazda MX-5, Toyota Pro Box. I saw this drive in and I couldn't believe it. Again, these are everywhere in New Zealand. Uh, it's just a complete back to basics wagon built by Toyota and uh, very simplistic, very basic. But uh, you know, you've got a sweetie holder and uh, an automatic transmission. So yeah, very, very common over there. Honda Insight, another C124, a gorgeous leather seat, a little mini pickup. And then around we go for another C124 with headlamp wipers, uh, another Heimer Camper. These are fine things, Volvo 740 next to a 245, nice. Rover 200, uh, Honda Accord, Toyota Tercel, brilliant. Another Corsa C, uh, another E36, compact, that hasn't been turned into a drift machine, amazing. E36 Coupe, quite a lot on the E36 Coupe is different from the normal E36, right down to the uh, windscreen shape. So um, actually very different, even though they look almost identical. Uh, here's your comparison between an SE6 scimitar and an SE5, the earlier shape. Wow, look at that for a beast. Uh, a Sherpa um, with um, quite some differences. It's causing a lot of interest. Uh, we've got a Vauxhall, uh, I think these later ones were VX based, uh, 1800s and 2300s, another MGC. Uh, this one's got left-hand drive wipers. Uh, I think we saw this. Uh, where do we see this? We've definitely seen this before. Was it down at Bewley? This um, Granada Scorpio with full body kit. And yes, they were sold as Granada Scorpio in, in the UK. 
a maestro next to a Allegro. Effectively, the car it replaced uh, Maestro. Very, very purple, very sparkly MX-5. Uh, we've got a Nissan Note, I think, or is it a Pixo? Hello! Is this a Note or a Pixo? It's a Pixo! There we go, all the information. Pause it if you want to read it. Wow, excellent. High mileage car by the look of it. Got a Lexus GS. Uh, I have absolutely no idea what this is. I'm going to have to go around the back and look at the back. What is it, people? What is it? Oh, it's a Kia Stinger. Quite popular with the um, police in the Antipodes because they like powerful rear-wheel drive cars. Uh, just for fun, I think. Uh, a BMW 6 Series, is that? Now a four-door saloon, confusingly. But yeah, look at this spot. It's a lovely spot to have a wonder and a chill out. This is a very relaxing part of the show. And uh, we shall spin round into this aisle. We've got the Standard Motor Club, represented by this gorgeous Flying Light 12 drophead coupe. I definitely didn't read that. Uh, a Standard 8, which is like a more austere 10. Uh, we've got TVR S-Type, which has horrendous wipers. In fact, we can just about see, but the wipers don't overlap at all. The biggest triangle of doom, if you um, search for up and down videos where he taunts me with one of these. It was his Halloween video a year or two ago. A very black Beetle next to a very not black Splitty. Gorgeous Skoda Octavia Renault 12 with the big old lamps on the front. Look at that. Uh, Rover 75 facelift. Uh, another CLK, I think. V6 Mondeo. Oh, this Topolino we often see at the uh, NEC. It's a slightly mischievous. Topolino. Appears to have a twin cam engine squeezed into it. We are hoping that Wildland Restorations will revive their Topolino very soon. That's lovely. MGTF. Uh, TVR Sagaris, is it? Next to a Skoda Estelle. Again, it's one of those rustable moments. A beige Skoda Estelle next to a TVR. Uh, Volvo uh, S40, I think. E46 BMW Honda Logo. Vastly underrated cars. A Marcus. Look at that. That's lovely. And uh, MX-5, a Ford Galaxy, another alley-bodied XJ, and a BMW, a BMW something with a big bonnet bulge. And we've got Mazda here. I, I'm clueless. I haven't got a clue. Uh, Toyota Igo, a Renault Clio Cup, uh, Saab 93, uh, Volvo 940, I think. Another Mark III Cavalier, a Peugeot 309. Uh, the gorgeous little 205 next to it as well. It's a special edition, apparently. A 205 open. It's for sale, folks. Three and a half thousand pounds. W124, Rover 75, Merc A-Class, uh, a Seat estate of some sort. I think that's pretty much what they said in the dealership. Rover R8 collection. We got... Um, a uh, 400 next to a 200 and another Alpha 155. Uh, MX-5 Punto Cabriolet next to the uh, regular Punto. Uh, Skoda Fabia and uh, we got the uh, Skoda Estelle. Is this mix Skoda Estelle? No. So this is, ah, oh, I've forgotten your name, but uh, Matthew is it? I think this is one he restored. That's lovely. Uh, Alfa Romeo Mito, uh, Peugeot, uh, what were they called? With a double bubble roof. CZ, SZ, something of that ilk. Does it say on the back? Help me out, help me out car. RCZ, I was close. BMW Z4. One of the things I love about the Z4 is how the side indicator has been hidden behind the badge. Subtle. That Mark III Fiesta, that's rather delicious. Uh, Mark 1 Escort, Mark 3 Cortina, an MGF with a mischievous chin spoiler. This left-hand drive Rover 200 SD3 that has puzzled me before. And uh, a regular UK market one, Suzuki Super Carry, Rover P4 95, uh, Volkswagen Transporter, Honda S-Max. That brings back some memories. And oh my gosh, it's a Honda N-Box. Oh, I must send Miss Hubnut up here. Wow, look at the interior. Hoy, it's a miniature gentleman's club. 
N-Box Custom. I want all of them. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Saab 93, Saab 900, I think. Four-door saloon. Another Laguna. I mean, it's rare to see one Laguna at a show. Z3, Ford Cortina, Suzuki Swift. Uh, oh, these Alfa Romeo saloons, the nomenclature of which uh, continues to evade me. 1750s, some of them. I think you can get different engines. I think some of them are called Julia's. Bedford, Astra Van. Ah, oh, it's immense. And then we got uh, Rover 100. We got the previous owner of the Progera Canari. So I traveled in this uh, to go and collect uh, the Canari. I think this is the one. Yes, it is. A very fluffy Audi. Team Puss 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 in uh, Mi Audi. I think I should apologize for that at once. Uh, Lime Flower Maxi, I think. Next to a uh, Deumitis, the later fi facelift, the M150. Smart. Nice. Uh, Volkswagen Mark IV Cabriolet, which is actually a Mark III Cabriolet with different wings and headlamps. Uh, we got the uh, MX-5 Honda CRV uh, uh, Ford Teneo next to an S uh, Fiesta. Oh, come on, brain. Mark I Mondeo. Uh, Mark II Focus. A Renault Clio 2 litre 16 valve. A TVR Cerbera next to a Morris Minor, because why wouldn't you? Uh, Mark II Jaguar. Um, Alfa Romeo Spider and a very, very mean and moody Skoda Estelle. You can hear the delight as people find cars uh, they're looking for. And is this the final row? Could this be it? I'm following the man in the lovely trousers. <laughs> uh, Smart Roadster, Roadster Coupe with the extra bit on the back. Um, Triumph Herald 1360. Oh my gosh, is that a Mitsuoka Galu? It's costing you money to put it on, don't Wow. It. <laughs> it is. 1997 Mitsuoka Valu Galu. Uh, it takes a very ordinary Nissan Saloon and turns it into something extraordinary. Uh, Skoda Fabia, uh, the Toyota GT86, another little smart. Love the colour. Mark III Cavalier. Listen to that. The 1.8 litre engine is whispering away. Uh, MX-5, another Mark 1 BX GT. Oh, Allegro Free Estate, love it. Uh, next to an Escort gear. It looks like it's got the original dealer plates on it. A left-hand drive clear, interesting. BX Estate, next to a BX hatch, next to a very early, um, probably a, a Citroen owned car. Yeah, Citroen UK, CBX. They registered the cars in um, Swansea just to get a BX number plate. Uh, Mazda 6, I think, next to a 323F. Uh, spinning around, we're almost there, folks. Uh, AX GT5, uh, the five-door version. Uh, Fiat Panda, loving the patina. Mark III uh, Toyota MR2. Gorgeous little Ford Anglia Deluxe. I'm guessing Deluxe meant you got nothing. Uh, Peugeot 306 Sedan. And yes, my suspicions are justified. Sedan is a saloon with a rear wiper. Nice. I have a feeling these weren't built in the UK, uh, but the uh, hatchbacks were. Uh, Saxo, Mark 6 Escort, that looks quite familiar. Uh, two CV van. Uh, Picasso, C4 Picasso, I think. Uh, we've got a Vanessa Carlton. Headlamp wipers. Uh, Lada Riva. Uh, Citroen BX, uh, DS, but I think maybe a UK built one. That is a very early DS with the, what they call the, like the frog nose rather than the shark nose of the later ones. Big old leather seats would suggest that, yeah, this is a slow built. That is the gear lever separating from the middle of the um, dashboard there. So you can flick it with your fingers. Uh, Skoda Octavia, the first use of the Octavia name, I think, in wagon form. That's lovely. I love how the badge is just screwed to the bonnet. But if it works, it works. Triumph for Tess. And the final car of this show report is the Alpine with the wacky wipers. It's a V6. It's a beautiful, beautiful car. Simone hooked on classics. Uh, I have to come back because she's finished making her rust, rustable on her Rover 75. Thanks, Simone. There is one car I haven't filmed, and I know the owner's probably watching my video going, my car isn't in the video, where is it? Here, here it is, 
Uh, this is Sid 33 00's um, Daihatsu Grand Move. I think he's driven over from the Suffolk area. An utterly, utterly forgotten car. And uh, for me, one of the stars of the show, I think. Uh, I think they just don't have the cutesy following of the smaller Daihatsus. Uh, sold as the Paisar in some markets as well. And it's so, so rare to see one. So uh, I'm very happy this car is here. And I'm sorry it wasn't earlier in the video. But there we are. We have corrected the wrong. The grand move is good. Well, there we go, folks. Uh, that has been a very lengthy but very enjoyable walk around the uh, Rustable show. Uh, I can't believe uh, how many cars have come, the quality of the cars. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, get some rear end action for you now. Yeah, it's been overwhelming. I need to go because we've still got so much to do. We really try to make this a show with a difference. So I try to hang out on Friendship Corner and speak to people as Miss Hubner is all day. And uh, generally just try and speak to people and say hello. But yeah, thanks to everyone who comes to these shows and who gets it and who makes it so special. Uh, to, uh, yeah, it, it just makes us smile so much. Uh, so thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to go and focus on the rest of the show. I'm so pleased I managed to get around and hopefully I've seen every car. I can't promise it because there are so many of them and some cars are coming even as some are leaving. But yeah, it's been amazing. Huge thanks to the guests who came and really got on board with the spirit of it as well. Kev T, Ben from Tasty Classics, Laurie's Mechanical Marvels, uh, Kitsch Up and Down, JM, and uh, so many more that I've now promptly forgotten. I put myself on the spot there, didn't I? I have to try and remember all the names of the people. Thanks to the traders who supported the show as well. We had Owatrol here who make the stuff we use to revive the smart. Uh, we got Flanner Automobiles with um, various automotive stuff and uh, yeah it's been great i could do the lie down but it's still an awful lot to do so uh thank you for watching and we'll see you in a future video farewell and so this is the end we say goodbye to the flashing rustable bus Wonderful. What a day it has been. It has been an extraordinary event. And uh, we've got Kev T trucks going as well. So, uh, all good times. It's been amazing. I'm just going to say goodbye. But, whew, done in. Thanks, everyone.